Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ange, if you haven't met me before, and today we're gonna to be talking about begonia powdery mildew. So this is my beautiful begonia maculata. I think it is the whitey eye form, but I cannot be completely certain because it's never flowered on me before, but it has these absolutely gorgeous white spots and the backside of the leaves have this gorgeous purpley red color. But I have noticed about two weeks ago that it was starting to form begonia powdery mildew. So what I noticed was some of the leaves were getting this really like fuzzy, whitish kind of gray form on the leaves. And I didn't notice it for a while. And then I looked at the plant one day and it was just kind of covered in this gross stuff. So I have treated it for powdery mildew and it is recovering really quite well. So I wanted to share with you some tips and tricks on how I got rid of it and maybe how you can prevent that in the future. So there is one leaf here that still has a little bit of the powdery mildew on there. I don't think it's actually still alive, but it kind of marked my leaves a little bit. It's this darkish coloration on the leaf. Okay, let's start off with what is begonia powdery mildew. So it is a fungal infection that typically affects begonias. They start off as a spore and they can be carried from wind, I've heard, or from other infected plants. And then once they germinate, they do spread quite rapidly. So the environment that begonia powdery mildew really, really enjoys is a wet, humid, warm environment. So right now it is winter time. And because it's so cold, I am keeping the windows like more closed than I should be doing. My house is not getting as much fresh air as I would like. And our bathroom does tend to get a little bit wet and kind of moldy in the winter time. We do get a bit of mold issues on the walls and ceilings. So we do have to treat that quite often. So I do believe that that warm, humid environment that my begonia was living in really kind of made this problem happen pretty quickly. It spread within a few days, so which was quite scary. You just look at your plant one day and it's just, there's something wrong with it, there's something wrong. Another thing that can make begonia powdery mildew spread a lot quicker is if your plants are bunched quite close together. So my begonia was living on the shelf right above my toilet and I kind of was just jamming them all in there because I've run out of room to put plants and there wasn't a lot of airflow that was able to go between each plant. So I think that that is why it really suffered. I don't ever put water on the top of my begonia. I do only water the soil because begonias don't really like to get their foliage wet. But I think just from that warm, wet environment in my bathroom, the leaves were staying a little bit more moist and there was a lot of condensation in the air. So that is something I would avoid if you don't wanna have a problem with begonia powdery mildew. Allow there to be a lot of airflow, um, keep a lot of space between your plants and if it's quite humid, then get some airflow in there, get some airflow because you don't, you don't want this problem. So if I didn't treat it, it probably would be dead by now. So let's talk about how to actually treat it. So what I did was I completely cut off any leaves that had significant damage to them, which was so depressing. You can see how big these leaves are. And I cut off like four or five huge leaves. It was such a sad moment, but I would definitely recommend cutting them off if they're very badly affected. As I said before, there was one with a little bit of damage to it. I didn't really stress too much about that. I kind of took a risk, but I would say it, if you cut them off, you're probably gonna have a better chance of the plant surviving. So yeah, that is the first thing you want to do. The second thing I did was to spray the front and backs of the leaves with a fungicide. So this one I use is the Yates Fungus Gun, and it says on it that it controls black spot, powdery mildew, and also rust. So this is what I like to use on all of my houseplants. So what I did was I completely saturated the front and backs of the leaf and even on the top of the soil. It says that after you spray it down, you're not supposed to put it in direct sun because the product can probably burn the leaves. Begonias as well don't like to be put into direct sun because they can burn quite easily. And I found after I sprayed down the plant completely, it has killed all the powdery mildew. But honestly, you have to work quickly. If you see an infestation, you have to deal with it straight away. So I am just going to be treating the plant one more time. I like to do two different treatments. So one, and then I wait about a week or two and then spray it again, just to make sure that all of the spores of the fungus are dead. I would also recommend putting the plant into quarantine once you see there is a fungus issue because fungus issues can easily spread to other plants. 
or your other begonias and you really really don't want that so i've put my begonia away and it's not touching it's probably about like a meter or so away from any other plant and hopefully it doesn't affect any of my other begonias but since cutting off all the leaves about a week and a half ago we have got new growth so i have this brand new leaf coming out here and this is the newest leaf that has opened up. This came about two days ago. And we also have a brand new leaf in here. So I do think that this is thriving and I'm so, so happy. When I water it as well, I'm gonna make sure that I don't get any of the leaves wet and I'm just going to soak the soil because I just, it's, it's just bad all around. The begonia is not gonna enjoy getting wet at all. I have heard other people treat begonia powdery mildew with a milk and water concoction. So you can completely saturate the leaves in milk and then put it into bright indirect light to help kill the spores, but I don't actually have any milk in my house. So I haven't tried that. I am not opposed to using more of a chemical if there is a serious problem. But if you are a little bit more wary about using like an insecticide or a, a fungicide or anything, then definitely try that out and let me know how it goes. But I can definitely vouch for this guy. This one also helped me treat my rust issues that I had on my Birkin about six months ago, completely stopped it from spreading. So I just love this product and I have never had a problem with it hurting my leaves. I do like to use it as a precautionary measure sometimes as well. So my Hoyas that I got recently had a bit of like a black spot on there. I wasn't sure if it was cold damage or fungus problem. So I did spray it down with this and they are all totally fine. But as I said, don't put it into direct light straight away or you might burn your foliage. And that is not what we want. We want pretty, pretty leaves, not burnt crispy leaves. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little video on how to treat begonia powdery mildew. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then definitely hit the thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already, because I post two plant videos every single week and I'll see you guys in my next one. All right, bye.